Okay, so from the doorway, your patient assessment is going to begin. You're going to be looking at your patient, assessing her color, her breathing effort, her general appearance, and her comfort. Look at her facial expression. Is she grimacing? Does she look like she's in pain? And then start your um, level of consciousness um, questions as you come in. So you're going to check the patient's movement and her position, and then all of the tubes that may be attached like her oxygen, her ID, her Foley, Polar Ice, um, SCDs, her NG tube or feeding tube if there is one. And I think we need to help out here. <laughs> are you all right? Okay, you're kind of no, legs I'm are not. off the bed. All right, I might have to get some help, but let me see if we can get to turn back around. Put this bed rail down here. Mm -hmm. Get your head on the bed. Okay, it looked like you were trying to get out of bed. Yeah, okay. that was just uncomfortable. Oh, you're feeling a little uncomfortable right now? Let me put the bed mm -hmm. up so I can talk to you at a better level. Can I put your head up? Doing all sure, right yeah, that's, that's better. Okay. All right, leave your feet uncovered for just a sec. So, any IV side? No. Okay, just kind of checking on you. Okay, so using the Colts Valley Mnemonic, you're going to assess her pain. You want to touch her hands and wrists for her skin temperature, her heart rate, and her rhythm, her pulses bilaterally, her grip, and her capillary refill. Okay, Mrs. Smith, I'd like to take a listen now to your heart and lungs. And you said you were a little uncomfortable. How are you feeling now that we've repositioned you? Oh, this is much better. Thank you. Okay, so are you having any area of pain? Um, well, my incision hurts a little bit. Can you uh, describe that for me? Uh, it's just sort of um, kind of sharp pains right along the incision line in my belly. Okay. And uh, when did this discomfort start for you? Well, my surgery was yesterday. It's mm -hmm. been going on since then. Okay. So it's in, on your incision. And uh, how uh, is that? continuous or intermittent for you? Um, it's much better now that I'm in a, the sitting position. It was worse when I was laying in that funky position. Kind of stretched out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and let's see, on the severity, is it mild, moderate, or severe? I would call it moderate. Moderate. And, and on that pain scale of 0 to 10, can you um, give it a number? It's about a 4. A 4. Okay. And uh, so you said the positioning helps make it better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might actually be going down to like a two or a three right now. Okay. Is there uh, anything that makes it worse? Well, I was trying to get up, and I don't think that was a good idea. I just couldn't make it. Okay. So when you're uh, movement and uh, trying to do that on your own. Mm hmm Okay. Any other associated uh, problems with your pain? Are you experiencing any pain, um, nausea? Not right now, no. Okay. All righty. Well, we'll um, make check in with you on that, and if it gets worse, certainly let me know, and uh, we'll try new positions, and later we'll get some assistance to get you out of bed. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, so do you mind if I uh, take your gown down to do my stethoscope assessment? Oh, sure. Okay, I just need to loosen up the neck and be able to get in. We like to listen right on the skin with uh, the stethoscope for heart and lung positions. And you can just um, you can just breathe normally. I'm gonna listen to your heart first, and take a little few listens here. Okay, and now I'm gonna listen to your. So if you can take a deep breath each time I place my stethoscope. And this one I'm going to listen kind of under your arm here. We don't want to go too far down. Your lungs are right there. Uh, kind of stop just at the nipple line. And I'm coming over to this side to take a listen as well. All right. You feel like you can sit up so I can listen on your back? Let's see. All right. I'll give you a hand here. And on your back, I'm going to do the same thing in several places, so listening Oops. here at the top, and again, 
coming down between your scapula and again you need to listen at the bottom and again and one more a little farther down if you can take a deep breath and one more on this side thank you we worry about uh, lung sounds in people that have surgery so I need you to take in those deep breaths using that incentive spirometer and uh, of course we'll be getting you up all of those things help your lungs recover from that stress of surgery Alrighty, uh, I'd like to listen to your belly sounds, another part of our assessment. So I'm just going to try to keep you covered here. I'm going to need to lift up your gown. And uh, I'll stay away from that tender incision site. I'm just going to take a listen here. You've got a little bit of gurgling going on. Are you having any appetite? No, not not a lot. They said I could have some breakfast so this morning. Okay. That's good. And how about uh, bowel movement? I haven't had one of those yet. Okay. Well, we'll be giving you um, medications for bowel care, okay. most likely. like to uh, make sure all that's working before you get home. I'm going to come down and look at your feet if that's all right. And uh, I need to pick up your socks for a sec. Have you been getting out of bed to the chair or not yet? I got up yesterday evening. Okay. Well, while you're in bed, we do like to uh, keep your heels off, so I'll be getting a pillow for you. Um, can I have you push on my hands? Okay. okay. And now pull up, like, to the ceiling. Okay. Okay. And I'm just going to be checking some pulses here on the top of your feet. Feet are nice and warm. Look good. And while you're uh, here, I'm also going to we do what's called cap refill, like I was squeezing on your fingers, doing some of that on your toes. Just take a look. Uh, how are those heels feeling? Uh, they feel okay. Okay. Not seeing any red spots, but that's a, a potential problem for laying in bed. So I'll get this back on, and we'll be getting that pillow. Um, I saw some of your back listening to your lungs. But uh, I am concerned a little bit more of your skin assessment. So we'll get this under the bed here. Our sheets are tucked in nice and tight. That makes it a little bit challenging. I think you can just roll to the side briefly so I can take a peek. Okay. Well, it looks like you got part of the blood pressure cup under here. <laughs> okay, did you feeling any tenderness? No. Okay. All right, well your skin still looks like it's in good shape. We'll be getting you up and making sure that uh, laying in bed doesn't make anything red. All right, so your breakfast is on the way. Anything else I can do for you right this sec? I don't think so. Okay. The assessment that you've just seen, we're going to summarize for you. So from the doorway, you're going to be looking at your patient, assessing your color, your breathing effort, general appearance, and their comfort level, and any facial expressions to get some cues as to how they're feeling today. You want to assess their ability to respond to the um, LOC questions. You want to check their movement and their position in the bed, and all of the tubes that might be attached to them, their ID, their NG tube, Foley, um, Polarize, SCDs, and any heating pads or anything that might be um, on them at that point. And always, always remember as you're walking into the room to assess for isolation precautions. Once you're at the bedside, you want to continue your level of consciousness assessment. You want to ask them questions on their comfort using cold spa touch their hand and their wrist for their skin temperature, their heart rate, and um, their rhythm, and then checking bilateral pulses and grips and capillary refill. Then you're gonna begin your auscultation, and as you auscultate this, your um, different sites, you wanna make sure you're assessing their skin at the same time. When you're listening to the lungs, make sure you don't go down too low. And then um, listen to their heart, their belly, their feet, and check for um, pulses and make sure that you assess their skin there and um, float their heels when you're done. 
And that is your assessment.